Taurus, you need to know this right now for January the 31st through February the 1st, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 31st through February the 1st, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January the 31st through February the 1st, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for January 31st through February the 1st, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you so much, Taurus. I really appreciate you guys. So, Taurus. You have the Two of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Taurus, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Two of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, or Aries, the Emperor. The Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Emperor for Taurus. Clarify the Emperor for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Emperor for Taurus. It is clarified with you, Taurus, the Hierophant. The Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So again, Taurus, this is you. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. What about Taurus? What about Taurus? Clarify the Hierophant for Taurus. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once. Weighing up the pros and the cons. Or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now, Taurus, you could be debating should you or shouldn't you confront maybe someone that you work with or do business with here, some type of institution, organization, governmental agency concerning some type of an agreement. Or Taurus, you're in a commitment and you are confronting this soulmate of yours. Maybe there's suspicion of juggling here. Someone could be wanting to set the record straight. 
and ask for forgiveness for juggling and you guys are soulmate connection taurus you have the devil could be dealing with a capricorn but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys relationship and what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding someone may be obsessive possessive controlling abusive someone may have an addiction to sex drugs drinking smoking working too much money attention gambling sports video games eating too much anything that a person does too much of or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys as relationship so taurus could be dealing with a capricorn but when we're dealing with this devil energy this can speak of something being toxic restrictive and binding this can speak of a legal binding contract but also temptation clarify the devil for taurus clarify the devil for taurus clarify the devil for taurus the devil is at the bottom of the deck it is clarified with the seven of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this is you waiting and in this wait you're pausing to reflect on you guys's relationship you're looking at the seeds that were planted looking at what has taken root what has grown and what it has produced thus far trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest whether you want to reinvest you're taking stock of you guys's relationship assessing you guys's relationship but this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're contemplating your coins of your abundance dealing with some type of an agreement here like i said it could be work or business taurus you can tell me that something was toxic here someone was juggling and you could be waiting on their answer whether they're going to forgive you or you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship here taurus you have the eight of swords gemini libra aquarius this is you feeling stuck like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Taurus, you're telling me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or there's blocked communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. And this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus. A high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Taurus, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. Now, it very well could be this offer coming into you, Taurus, but you're stuck on it. You're stuck about this maybe agreement here. You're debating. You're thinking about it, Taurus. Hmm. Could also be someone else propositioning you, Taurus, and you're stuck on whether or not you want to find yourself juggling. Taurus, you have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there is some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. 
Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're looking at your other options concerning work or business because it very well could be a new opportunity coming in for you. Taurus, you can tell me that you have options at work. Mm, someone could be pro pro propositioning you here. Taurus, you can tell me that you're confused and needing to make a choice on whether or not you want to work things out with this person, whether or not forgiveness is on the board. You're debating. Taurus, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, you're telling me that you're hurt. And you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords. For Taurus, clarify the three of swords. For Taurus, clarify the three of swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have the strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. It is clarified with the nine of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're standing your ground here with some type of partnership with work or business. You're using your intuition on what you should do. They hurt your feelings, Taurus. And I feel like there's other offers coming in and you're looking at other options here. I just feel like you're stuck and maybe thinking about it or debating it. Taurus, you can tell me that you ha you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust them. They had another other lover, a third party that hurt you. And you may be using your intuition on what type of action you want to take here, Taurus. I feel like you want to confront this person, yes. But I also feel like it's an offer coming into you, Taurus, and you're stuck on whether or not to take the offer because I feel like you think two rights don't make a wrong here. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Taurus. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you. And it says roller coaster, highest high, adrenaline rush. 
Roller coaster. Highest high, adrenaline rush. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? It says, love, adore, admire, enchantment. Love, adore, admire, enchantment. Oh, boy. You love this person, but they're taking you on a roller coaster ride. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, you need to know this right now for January the 31st through February the 1st, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.